I just showered, it's 10.30 p.m. and I am packing for Africa and I'm looking at all the clothes. Now, we know what we're getting ourselves into this time and we've learned already that Africa is all about layering because it starts off pretty cold in the morning and at night and then it gets to like 30 degrees full sun in the day. So you kind of need to be bringing both, which makes packing really difficult because then you get stuck with a pile like this. And I'm just looking at it and I'm not sure, I'm not quite sure how this is gonna go. This, let me go through piles. Breaches, obviously I need to bring one new breach for every day because who's gonna wanna ride in yesterday's bum sweat? Um, I've got, these are like two piles of hoodies. So for like nighttime or early mornings, this is my like comfy pants. These are swimmers. Those are like comfy pants for like sleeping because it's gonna be cold. Two thick socks because I hate having cold feet. So if in any of the camps it's gonna get really cold, my feet are not gonna get cold. These are like non-equestrian. I've got like some shorts, some dress pants, some jeans here at the bottom. This is all kind of like t-shirt and light stuff. I still then have to pack the cameras, um, my computers and all that kind of stuff. I have to pack my like toiletries and I have to bring my boots and my helmet. So we're just gonna have to, I'm gonna see, this is my suitcase. This is the one I use to go everywhere. So I'm just gonna see if, how much will actually fit in here from this and go from there. We were also told to try and bring like a, a heavy jacket or kind of like a rainproof jacket. So I'm gonna have to try and make that also fit in here somehow. So let's see what we can actually manage. The breaches, this is a non-compromisable pile. So that's gonna have to go in. It's already higher than the suitcase. Okay, let me take one out. Some sacrifices, but this is what I mean people. It's all about balance. Look at all this clothes, one belt. <laughs> so, you know, I'm trying. Also the theme of this holiday is gonna be creases because when you pack tightly, like it's everything's folded except for these really thin shirts because who can fold them? Um, but when you pack this tight, everything gets creased and I don't think we're gonna have an iron. <gasps> oh, and this time I wanted to try and bring a hairdryer. So we're gonna have to see how that happens. Honestly, I might just bring maybe a second bag because I'm looking at all this stuff and I just don't see how it's gonna work. We have quite an exciting program because this time instead of going to Botswana like we did last time, we're going to Zimbabwe. So we're gonna be experiencing Victoria Falls. Um, it's gonna be something we haven't done before at all. Um, so there is an element of course of surprise still. This time I'm not surprising yes that he knows we're going on the trip, um, which I think will mean we're all better prepared for it too. Um, but we did get the opportunity um, given to us of potentially going bungee jumping which is gonna be exciting. But I was already thinking, I was like, what does someone wear when they're about to shit themselves? Because that's gonna be me going bungee jumping. Because I always told myself, I'm never gonna jump out of a plane like skydiving and I'm never gonna go bungee jumping. But then when they asked me, they were like, oh Matt, do you and yes wanna do it? I was like, this is the moment that I can like conquer this fear. So hopefully I'm gonna be able to do that. Um, but what I need to conquer first is this suitcase. So I'm gonna grab yes and see if he has any room in his. Or if I need to try and bring one more suitcase, which I really don't want to do. So we'll uh, we'll figure this out shortly. Yes, is here. <laughs> He's bad. He's stressed. I'm but I'm stressed not, too. No, I'm not stressed. Oh, you're no. not stressed. No. Okay. I'm stressed, and He's I've ended up. And he has COVID, and he's gonna travel. I don't have COVID. Don't even put that out there into the universe. You can't say these things. I'm stressed and we I ended up just paying for another suitcase. Just because I want to make sure because once we're there, if I don't have everything, then we're not I'm not just gonna you run back. Have a bleeding face, which all the animals will smell, so you don't have to be stressed. Oh yeah, yes uh yes I had a bit of an impact. Can I show them what happened to your face? Look up. Wait, show wait, I can't see it. There. He's now scared that the animals in Africa are gonna smell his blood and come hunting for him. Of course they will. It's either going to be a snake or it's going to be Mufasa. Fingers crossed it's Mufasa. Is um, Mufasa there? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. We haven't been to this part of uh, Africa before, so it's going to be all, uh, all new for us. Um, but we're nearly there. We're going to keep um, shoving everything in. We should be able to get everything. That, a few final things we're going to have to do tomorrow. We're going to be waking up in six hours or less because 
There's this whole thing happening at Amsterdam airport. People have gone on strikes. There's four and a half hour waiting lines to get into security. It's like crazy. And of course, it's on the day we travel that, it, that all of this stuff is happening. So that's going to be an experience. Um, so yeah, so we're going to finish. Yes, will be fine. We're going to finish packing all this up and um, charging all the gear and all that kind of stuff. And then you're going to catch us tomorrow morning at probably 4.30 or 5 a.m. starting to get ready to but it's fine, make up then we have a 10 hour flight so we can relax. Oh yeah, it just becomes very stressful when there's like all these things up in the air, like there's all these flights getting cancelled. Last time also we were going to Africa, it was super stressful, I don't know what's happening. going on. It's always so difficult to say bye to the little goblins, the little goblins. Oh, Pen, I'm not gonna forget about you Pen. Oh little goblins. 6am, hi everyone. Uh, just picking up from yesterday um, This is the car situation because my brother's also going to the airport. So we have three suitcases and Then let me show you. Let me show you the back seats <laughs> The back seats are looking like but yeah, it will be fine in the end. But yeah, so uh, we're gonna get ready to get in the car and um, Head to the airport. It's like a 45 minute drive from our house. So it's really easy and I'm just crossing my fingers that we don't have those huge, enormous queues uh, that everyone's been talking about. We've managed ourselves. Yay, welcome to the good life. <laughs> God. Yes has been non-stop singing this. Oh, update on Yes's face. Let's have a look. Yeah, still not good. <laughs> it's really swollen. Is it? It's quite bulbous, yeah. What if I don't fit my... <gasps> I didn't bring my helmet. Yes, you did. I don't think I did. Yes, you did. Yes? It was in your thing. Oh, okay. Oh my god, don't do that. Checking in. You know, All I can way. say is that we're so lucky because look at the lines over there. Um, but we have a priority, so luckily... It's only, what, five people. <laughs> for two hours what do you mean uh, well that's not true it's long it's a lot of text and i went also on my whatsapp <laughs> i mean you weren't like looking at the photos for a long time so maybe that's a distracted you yeah, like that, so. Okay, we've just finished our transfer with uh, this car. Now we're getting into the real African Zimbabwe car. <laughs> so this will be taking us to our camp. We've got everything loaded. We're gonna get on and I'm hoping that we already start to see some wildlife like we did the last time we came. This was the first taste of, of what's to come. So it's been quite a journey, um, but we are here. We're already in the bush, which I'm super excited about. We're joined by Isabel from African Horse Safaris, who you guys Hi remember guys. from our Botswana <laughs> trip. 
Hi, nice to see you again. Yes, we it's already, been a while. We caught up already in the car a little bit on the way over, uh, which is nice. But you told us we're about to reach the camp soon, right? Yes, so we are on our way there with Guy James uh, from Ride Zimbabwe. Morning. One of African Horse Safari's partners. Um, and we're just heading down to Iganyana um, camp now yeah. for the start of our ride through Wangi um, in Zimbabwe. I'm so super, super excited. Exciting. And this camp is a little bit different. We already saw a couple of things to the last camp we were in so we're gonna have a little bit of a tour first get acquainted with everything and then uh, later on we'll uh, we'll go meet the horses Up on the horses yeah exactly yeah. we'll do a bit of a debrief bit of safety talk um, show you your rooms and then yeah get in the saddle Yeah. Right here. So get out, watch your step as you come down. Welcome to Iganyana. Hi, Hello. Hello. Hi, welcome. Nice to meet you. Hello. Hi, I'm Tracy. Hello. Nice, nice to meet, meet you. you. Don't break my face. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nice Hi, Matt. Very nice to meet you. Hi, Matt. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Very nice to meet you. Yeah, come grab a drink. Yes, guys. Nice to meet you guys. Don't mind if I do. That's the right way to start. Cheers. 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 Yeah. Oh. Yeah, so what's this tent that we're going through now? So we, here we have our dining area and our lounge. Wow. And an amazing view. Oh and my god, the beautiful, beautiful view. Beautiful yeah. view. Oh, and you have like this whole like seating area yes, here. We have a nice little chill. lounge area here, dining area here. Wow. Some more dining areas up here, couches. And as I like to say, welcome to my office. Yeah. <laughs> Before we get everyone to head to their rooms, we just have a couple of things to go over with you. So if you wouldn't mind having a seat, I do have a little bit of paperwork to do. Okay. Serious business. Okay. Grab a seat yeah. down here, yeah. 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 Drink in hand, a holiday mode is on. <laughs> right, so firstly we'd like to thank you for coming and staying with us here. We're very glad to have you and we hope you enjoy your time with us. I'm yeah. going to go over a couple of things with you, especially pertaining to safety. We yeah. are in a wildlife area and there are wild animals that do roam around. There's no fences apart from that little wooden fence over there. Uh, so <laughs> so <laughs> <laughs> During the day it's safe enough for you to walk around to and from your tents on your own. We ask that you please just keep your eyes and ears open. And then at night when you would like to retire to your room, please let us know and we will have an armed escort taking you through okay. to your rooms. Wow, private security. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> because what could happen, you could just come across. You never know what you could come across. Um, we've had lion tracks on the pathways, we've had the elephants walking through camps, so it's just yeah. to make sure that you're so safe. Quiet. Oh my God. You won't hear the elephants and coming. Uh, yeah. Elephants are incredibly quiet for their size, you wouldn't believe how quiet they can be. You okay. might have to learn something from them. <laughs> yeah. 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 you coming. Yeah. Right. Then any dietary requirements we need to be made aware of. Anything you can't eat, don't eat, don't like to eat. I just don't eat meat. Alright, <laughs> great. So vegetarian? One yeah. vegetarian. Right. Plant-based. And, and <laughs> on, on that note, just to let you know that everything we cook we make fresh and everything is cooked on a wood fire stove. Nice. Mm. So Amazing. everything has that really nice sort of bush bush kitchen, bush, um, bush stove flavor. feel. <laughs> Just to kind of take you through how the next sort of four or five days are going to look. Yeah. So first two nights we're going to be based at Iganyana Wild, which is a kind of private camp adjacent to Iganyana. It's where all our Wangi horse safaris go from. Uh, so if there's a group of eight there, you know, you're there privately. It's your own camp specifically for the horse safari. So that'd be really nice. So we'll be over there for two nights. Then we're going to be heading out into the bush, into the wilderness, a mobile camp for the night. So, you know, we'll be out sleeping right next to all the wildlife, under canvas, you know, dinner around the campfire. It'll be a really, really nice adventure. And then we're back here for one night. And then we head up to Victoria Falls. Um, awesome. So before you guys go, we've got a really um, exciting stay right on the Zambezi River and uh, a few surprises up our sleeves for when we're up there. Oh wow. my God, I already heard about the surprise and I'm not sure how that's going to go, but yeah. we're going to have to tackle <laughs> that when we get there. Yeah. There'll be some adrenaline flying around, I'm sure. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds yeah. Like fun, guys. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. It's going to be good. Awesome. Okay, well, should we... Yes, should yeah, see it. That's cool. I'm so curious about the... The about, your, about your tents, yeah. yeah. Good. One thing before we head to the bed, room, house thing. Oh my god, there's just a baboon there. I what? just wanted to look at the pool, but there's a <laughs> baboon. Wait, let's go. What? A baboon? 
baboon? Yeah, I just wanted to go to the pool, but now I'm going to the pool in a baboon. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, stop it. Oh. oh, that was close. There he is. Oh, wow. So this is normal? Yeah, was <laughs> just sunbathing. Oh my god, we just. I think I just want to sit here and have therapy watching. Imagine when you're like in the pool and there's just like elephants in front or maybe they're drinking and you're in the pool. How insane. Oh my god, you just have to hide and then they come. <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> wow, and this view. Later I'm gonna be sitting here and just in silence, just looking at the You in silence. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. I wanna see that. Yeah. We'll definitely well, have to film that. Yeah. <laughs> It'll be possible. <laughs> we're, yeah. just, we're just heading to our tent now, um, but in the briefing, we obviously were told that at night there needs to be someone walking with you. In the day, it's not as dangerous because I imagine most of the predators are a little bit more subdued and quiet. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, what is the procedure if at night we do encounter some wildlife on the way to the to the tent? Yeah. You just want to stop and uh, just stand nice and still. Okay. Uh, keep quiet. You don't want to be making sudden noises or sudden movements, and you certainly don't want to approach them because. Yeah. You know, they're, they're quite used to seeing humans around these camps, but they don't want to be like, feel they're being directly threatened. So yeah. if you're concerned that they're not going to move off, then you just back off, go back to where the, the camp is. Yeah, now, the lion is unlikely. Highly, highly, highly unlikely. Yeah, but, <laughs> <I hope>. but <laughs> yeah. it's not impossible. It's not impossible. Yeah. But um, it's good just to be careful. Always. Again, you would, you would just stop, you watch it, and then just back off slowly. You, yeah. you, there's ne you never want to run in Africa, yeah, yeah, because yeah. <laughs> that means that there's a lion now chasing you, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. you so, prey. It's an open invitation yeah. to chase you. Yeah. I guess we're, yeah, we're here. So here we are, it's your beautiful room, we're, tent we're, in the bush. We're going to wow. take a look inside in a second and, and you can guide us through kind of uh, all the ins and outs because yeah. I think it, it's a bit different than your normal tent. They're beautiful and brand new, you know, they're very new, yeah. Built. Yeah. Oh, wow. yeah, very new camp. Yeah, yeah. And, and it's, um, as you say, using solar, really eco-friendly. Um, and they've got really nice horse touches because it's specifically for the horse safari. So sort of polo mallets and the handles oh, nice. are uh, uh, horseshoes. horseshoes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Cool. Yeah. cool. Okay, can't wait to have a look. Yeah, there it is, yeah. Wow. Beautiful. It's not exactly a tent. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little bit fancier than that. Amazing. I love that you have so much to look at even. Yeah. It's crazy. You've got yeah. the views, but you's, you've got the comfort. Which is what we like. <laughs> wow, wow, look at the bed, it's huge. This is Some crazy. Nice chairs. Really nice. Yeah, I think let me just take this bed off. I think you'd be quite dry in here. Yeah. You'd be quite comfortable, I think. Yeah. It'd be absolutely. very, very comfy. So we've got lights, we've got charging, uh, yeah. USB charging points over oh, here wow. also, so you can charge your phones up and oh, gadgets. Great. Yeah. There's also some other uh, European charging plugs there for different uh, adapters. Oh, awesome. Uh, writing desk if you want to. Sit and uh, catch up on your correspondence. Yeah. <laughs> you, Maybe remember, not on this trip. Yeah. <laughs> if you remember how to write, yeah. 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 <laughs> oh, you nice. sit there and type. So, if yeah. I'm right, I can be here. Oh, it's so well made. I'll stand. <laughs> and then, like an elephant, can be walking there. You can just sit there, just and watch and enjoy. Yeah. Crazy. Because they're not going to see in here. No. Uh, they're not. They know the tents are here. They know there's people around. They can smell you. Uh, so again, as long as you're not making sudden like yeah. shouting at it, hey, Mr. Elephant, or, or run outside or make a loud noise, as long as you don't do yeah. that, then it's 100% good, yeah. Oh, wow. Come on in here, so oh, wow. here we go. I can't believe how spacious it all is. Yeah. Oh my God, it's Even amazing. two sinks. Two sinks. Uh, Wait, hot, hot water, really. Got hot water, yeah. Hot water. Wow. And all the right. The bathroom, toilet here. All the details. Oh yeah, these were like the horseshoes uh, you were saying. Horseshoes. Yeah, horseshoes. Yeah. Oh there. cool. And this is a shower with hot water. With hot water, yes. Wow. Absolutely. And a few. Hot water to the right. <laughs> yeah. Push out to, to the, the right. right. Let it go. And uh, because it's solar powered uh, water for geyser, it takes a little bit while for the water, cold water to come through. Yeah. And then it'll be nice and hot for you. Yeah. Amazing. You've also got some shower amenities here, some uh, shampoo and conditioner. <laughs> and, and here's the wash. Throne. <laughs> and there's the throne. Throne is, on, throne is on this side. Yeah. <laughs> which is like a standard one, which is nice. It's not just like a hole in yeah. the ground. <laughs> yeah. It's like a yeah. proper one. And you've got a loo with a view. Yeah. A loo view. <laughs> <laughs> and I wow. haven't spotted any. Crazy, um, so far. <laughs> nothing, nothing, nothing yeah. too crazy. So it's likely they'll come. How amazing is the room? Uh, it's, I mean, it's camping, but it's glamping. I mean, you have everything you need, but it's, I mean, even just a small time we spent now, we have like a bunch of baboons outside of the, um, of the tent. 
uh, we've heard like trumpeting from elephants. It's really a different kind of experience. And of course, like you can go to Africa in a hotel and do it that way. But this is, I think, this is I like how I know. But this is exactly how you envision that you want to have it. Like this is this is the dream. Um, so what we're going to be doing now is we've settled all our stuff is here. Um, we've changed into our riding clothes. We're going to go for a quick lunch. And then we're going to go for an afternoon sunset ride, which should be just um, awesome. Uh, just before we go on the ride, though, I do want to take you guys to see the horses. Because for me, it's always really interesting to see how they manage horses at spots like this. Because, of course, there are so many predators around here. So, firstly, how do they keep them safe? Um, and I always like supporting places that have healthy, happy horses. Um, that their bodies look good. That the horses look happy. So, I always like to look at those things, too. So yeah, I'm looking forward to the afternoon ride. It should be fun. Um, we've seen obviously already some animals, some um, of the animals we have not spotted yet on our last safaris were buffalo, which are here. So I'm really excited to see some buffaloes. They've got some huge herds. I've heard there's like herds of like over a thousand, two thousand buffalo. So that would be incredible to witness that. Um, later on when we're in Victoria Falls, we might get the chance to spot some hippos. That's also going to be really exciting. Um, lions. and lions that's something we were not able to uh, spot last time was lions so that's also something on the agenda before we go uh, can you grab the malaria pills also because mm. of course when you come to Africa you have to be prepared well I'm just saying that's not the malaria pill no oh they're in they're in this suitcase here we came with three suitcases it's in that one but you're meant to have them while you're eating so let's let's take them now you took them out you said that no you can cut the... And where are you going to put the pills now? Just in your pocket. I can hold them, no? You can hold them the whole time while we eat. Well, I can put them in a, like a little napkin. Oh my god, yes. Okay, let's just go. I just wanted to show you guys how cute this treehouse looks. There's like a little hangout spot here. And then this is our table for lunch. I know, I am. How incredible. And... There's and it's like almost a tires on tree house with all the trees going up. Have a look. There's like all the trees kind of like intertwined throughout the building. And the best bit is actually upstairs because they already showed us quickly. In here and there. Very cute. Little yeah. hangout seating area. And, and look at the view. Amazing. So we're kind of like, we're kind of looking down at uh, what we just saw before. Even here, another few, like another one. There's another seating area here, and then the yeah, magical the stairs. Oh, don't fall. The magical stairs to the rooftop. Shoes are ridiculous. So look up here, guys. So you can, can sit like here. This. Oh. And this is what you see. Oh, it's holding a baby. I know, let me just zoom in for you guys, because I don't know if you can see. But we've got some baboons here. There we go. Hello. No. Please start. Oh, nice presentation. Yes, yeah, so are, you yeah. are you on a model diet or what's going on here? <laughs> <laughs> this is my vegetarian diet. <laughs> yeah. they don't I just have some grass. No. Wow. <laughs> Packs a puncher. Huh? <laughs> right, so we're going to be meeting our horses now and kind of getting an understanding as to how everything's managed. Right, nice. What? Cowboys parking only. Cowboys? Are you guys yeah. cowboys? Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. Come on in. I hope we don't have this experience today, but <laughs> yeah. no, sure. you never know. Yeah. So, the here. so the horses are in here, and this is our management facility here in Wangi, right in Barbway. Yeah. Yeah. So we have an electric fence that wow, uh, to keep yeah. lions out. Look at that. Yep. Yeah. So if a lion comes up, you'll get a zap on the nose. Yeah. yeah. And then the second safety feature we have is a what we call is a boma. And um, that is so the lions can't see in yeah. and the horses can't see out. So we've got two lines of defense here. Okay. And so basically, if he was, if a lion was to make his way in, it's not the end. There's, <laughs> there's a second line of defense. There's a second line of defense. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Perfect. So now we're going to, to see the horses. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Hi, Matt. Matt, nice to meet you. Well, thank you, you, you very much. Well, thank How you. are you? Thanks. Wow, look at this. Yeah. So we've, uh, oh. We've already selected your horses for this afternoon's ride. Mm -hmm. Okay. And um, we're sure you will enjoy them. 
This is nice, so they can just walk freely. Here. Yes, so we, we like to uh, be as natural as possible, so the horses have got freedom to move around at night time, they're not in a oh, stable, yeah. so we've designed specifically for that reason. And is it also is right it? that you let them graze, I heard? I think? Oh, nice. Yeah, during the day they go out and graze with the grooms. That's Dodger. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Sweet girl. And then we have a few boy. management oh, stables yeah. at the back end. The gelding, in fact. Dodger. Uh, <laughs> Dodger. Dodger Waterford Dodger here. I'm very curious what horses Yes and I will be riding. Yes. Well. So who do you have planned? So um, Matt, you are going to yes. be riding um, our pinup boy. <laughs> <laughs> that uh, is Morley. So. Oh wow. And it, oh, he looks like a Frisian. He is a Frisian. Oh, he is a Frisian. <laughs> Whenever they're far from the Netherlands. Yeah. <laughs> oh, nice to meet you. Meet Mooley. So, yes, a pinup oh. boy hey. of Ride Zimbabwe. He's, oh, a, he's our calendar boy. Oh. Mascot, yeah. let's say. <laughs> <laughs> of course, it's yours. <laughs> <laughs> About for yesterday. Then then. For oh, yeah, let me grab like, him. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And then for. We got a yes, we've got uh, oh, a big one. The half brother. Oh wow! And this is Shuki. Oh, Shuki. Shuki. I'm Shuk. <laughs> and they're uh, you, you, well conditioned to wildlife. Yeah. And Shuki's the best spotter of wildlife. Oh yeah. Oh, oh well, yeah. Why? How does he do it? He just like stops and looks. Really? Like so every time he does that, I know. Yeah, you know, there's something there. Look where he's looking. Yes, he's actually quite yeah. good at spotting wildlife yeah. himself. So We're that's good. a good. Two good spotters. That's a good combo. Yeah, yeah perfect. Hope he doesn't also have anxiety. <laughs> <laughs> So we've spotted the buffalo and even though you can't see them, we, you can see the dust they are creating. So that's exciting because that's the one thing that I really, really wanted to see. So the fact that we might see it on this ride um, is good. So we've got a bit of a ride to get to them. Hopefully they're walking towards us, but soon we'll have a bit of a canter and try and catch up. But I'm looking forward to it and it looks like it's a big herd. decided to come up and say hi. Have a look. Oh my god. <sighs> Thirsty guy. What would happen if I would say that? Would it still come? Nah, uh, probably not. Eh? Nah. Mm. Yeah. I will not go any closer than necessary. <laughs> Such a long fan legs compared to the hind. Yes, trying to sneak in a little closer. We've had a few more come up at dinner to come say hi, have a drink. Look at them. Oh, guys, I can't hear it. We're, <laughs> We're about to settle into our first night. There's so much action going on outside. Look at me. I'm scared. 
there's all sorts of like elephant sounds coming they must be quite close and there must be a whole like herd because we already saw one when we were walking back in thank god our guide was with us because we would have <laughs> walked bloody right into it um but yeah yes is worried because yes it hates bugs did it poo what <laughs> You can't do this thing now because there's like a crazy thing on the ceiling. Oh, yeah, there's like a really big, um, kind of fluffy caterpillar which is freaking us out. So he says that I've got to sleep on this side of the bed so it can fall into my mouth. Who even says that? I didn't say that, you just said like it was not a big deal. <laughs> well, we've got our pajamas on as well because it gets quite cold here. Um, so we're going fully dressed with socks on to bed um i just did it for the mosquitoes and everything <laughs> <laughs> but um so far it's been a really fun day uh, and tomorrow we start like the big ride so we're gonna have a, a 6 a.m meet at the kind of like center community cabin we're gonna have some coffee and tea 6 30 we're gonna get on the horses start riding we're gonna catch the sunrise we've got um, a photographer out, he's going to be using his drone, we're going to get some cool footage, we're going to have some fun. Um, so yeah, so it's an early night. Wait, I think I heard a lion. Um, early start tomorrow, so we're going to get some sleep. Yes, it's going to try and muster up some courage. Um, and we'll catch you guys 6am. Well, early actually, 5.30am tomorrow.